everybody, I'm Isaac, and uh, today we're going to take a look at some medium format uh, lenses. We're going to take one of these bad boys apart and uh, see how it ticks and see how to clean it and just the general uh, workings of a medium format lens. This one specifically is for the uh, the Kawa 6. Um, I had to get uh, as-is lenses uh, to be repaired because I'm a poor student and these lenses are super expensive new or used but working. So I bought what's to fix. Anyways. Um, without further ado, let's go inside of these and uh, take a look at how they work and how they disassemble because there's not very much information online and I sort of went in this blind. Oh, and disclaimer, right here, right now, I'm an idiot. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. So if you break your camera, break your lens, break your finger, uh, break your spirit for spending money and breaking a lens, um, I'm not responsible. I am strictly an idiot disassembling cameras and attempting to put them back together again. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go in and take a look inside one of these. Okay, so um, before we get started here, uh, there's two important things that we need to do. One, we need to understand how these lenses work, and two, um, you know, sometimes you need one of these, especially when you're working on cameras that are a gigantic pain in the butt. <sighs> Anyways, so um, first things first, let's, uh, let's learn about these, uh, these lenses. So uh, this has a leaf shutter built into the lens, um, so the camera actually operates the shutter um, and the lens through these uh, two points here. You just sort of, the camera turns these as it operates and it fires the shutter and operates the aperture blades. Uh, so essentially all the camera's doing is um, telling the shutter in the lens when to fire and stuff and uh, the lens is doing all the heavy lifting. Uh, this is due pretty much because um, because the medium format camera takes such a big negative. Um, it has a really big mirror to move, which means that in the end, um, there's a lot of vibrations. So if you take the mirror and put it and remove it and instead use the shutter in the lens, uh, you can get much more smoother stuff as well as um, being able to sync to higher flash speeds because you don't have a curtain, you have a you have an opening and closing aperture, so when you take the picture, um, there's no rolling shutter effect. You won't get half this half the frame uh, lit and one half not lit because you have a leaf shutter instead of a curtain shutter. So if we uh, this is so the lens is cocked now, and if we press the button here, these uh, these uh, the leaf shutter will close, and then as you go further the shutter fires and uh, the camera takes a picture and then when you cog it you pull this back so essentially uh, that's pretty much how these work so let's actually get into the meat of them so I'm actually going to do uh, the 150 millimeter the 55 millimeter disassembles the exact same way uh, so let's just not worry about that so first off um, you have two sets of lens elements you have the front and then you have the rear um, when you're disassembling these take extra care because, uh, especially the rear, because you don't want to damage this guy at all. So the rear actually just screws right off the bottom of the lens. You just turn it like this, and at some point it will pop off. It's got a bunch of thread into it. Okay, all right, so it's off. Um, so then you're actually, you can actually see into the leaf shutter. So through this, you can actually attempt to clean the leaf shutter or the aperture blades if they're oily. Um, if they're uh, super gross, you will have to go in from the top, but um, you can do a little bit of minor cleaning from the back. So this is a, the outside part, and this is the inside part of the lens. Keep this stuff super safe. So what I'm going to do is put it on a uh, microfiber cloth here and just cover it. That way there's no dust that gets into it, and I'll just put that up to the side. All right, so now that we have the bottom off, we can take the front element off. I'm only going to go as far as the leaf shutter in the center, um, just because... Once you get to that shutter, it's a whole different ballgame, and it is not easy to take apart. So, when you're, disassemb bleh, when you're disassembling a camera, um, the first thing that you want to do is look and uh, keep your eyes open, because you never know how to disassemble stuff, unless you have the manual. Um, there might be a super easy way to dis disassemble stuff. So, when I first uh, went and disassembled these cameras, I tried unscrewing these notches to get the front, front lens element out because I needed to clean both sides of the aperture blades. Um, so that actually never uh, happened. <laughs> There's a set screw in here that prevents you from unscrewing this. So instead of unscrewing it, I just completely ruined the threads inside of it and as well as uh, uh, stabbed myself in the hand, which hurt a lot. So be careful. 
Um, and if you don't have the right tool, don't disassemble something because you're just going to end up uh, breaking something or, you know, worse. Okay, so to get into the front element of this Kawa, there's three screws um, around this edge that takes off this, uh, this front guard thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew these now. Also, when you're unscrewing them, uh, you will need something to keep them safe, which would be a film canister for me, because that is an easy way to do that. Notice, um, because the lens element out, I'm not treating the back as much care as usual, um, because there's no way for me to scratch anything. Also, when you're working, uh, make sure you're working in a dust-free environment, or if you're not working in a dust-free environment, at least work in a place that's not super dusty, because um, you really don't want dust on the inside of this stuff. Um, that's not a lot of fun, you know, because dust sort of sucks. And be careful when you're unscrewing these, because if they're gone, you're not going to find another one at all. So anyways, without further ado, with these out, this just pops right off. Set that aside. So here you have the front element, uh, that whole assembly, and then you have the actual body of the lens. Um, and then you have these, which are the shutter speed and aperture uh, selector dials, which we'll get into in a second. So to remove this, and it's the same on the 55 and the 150, you can literally unscrew this and it'll pop off the body. So when things aren't unscrewing easy, one second. When things aren't unscrewing easy, you'll need uh, some way to grip this to get it undone. So what I'm doing is I have a belt here and you can literally just wrap it around this edge, grip it tight and then loosen it. And there it goes. So now that I got it started, I won't need this anymore. And then, so this guy just unscrews and it takes all of the, uh, takes all the front glass out. So then once this is out, you're left with only the, uh, only the shutter and uh, the mechanical parts of the camera, which is super awesome because uh, disassembly is uh, never this easy anymore. So yeah, so this is it popped off. You have the back of it and the front of it. Note mine's a little bit shaky because of my dicking around with these, uh, with these notches here to try and get these out, which is not the way to do it. Remember to just take a second and look at your camera before you start to disassemble it. So I'm actually going to go and put this over in the microfiber cloth with the other one just to keep them safe. Also, don't put it near the edge of a table, which is what I'm doing and is not a great idea. Okay, so now that we're inside the mechanical parts of the camera, you'll note there's three screws here, as well as this uh, black sheathing and then the outside uh, silver of the camera. So this black sheathing allows this stuff to move without impacting the glass or anything. And it's also, there's two layers to this because each one of these operates a separate layer that goes down into the leaf shutter to control it. So the first thing to do is to just unscrew the three screws that are inside here, like so. As you can see, the shutter is open. I'm not going to close the shutter just because we're working on it right now and if I happen to slip and stab the shutter that could be the end of the shutter. So you know stuff like that is, is sorta of negative and you don't want that to happen to your camera. Also be careful because if you lose these screws they are never ever coming back. Trust me. Never ever. In a million years you will you will die before these screws um, show up again and I'm serious. Like, literally, if this falls onto the carpet, it's gone. There's no getting these back unless you, like, hack apart another camera. So now that this is off, we can just come in here and pull this out. And then you have a washer here that you can pull out as well. And so now there is this black sheathing here. So if you take a quick look, it's probably hard to see, but there's a little brass piece right here which connects to these. So what we can do is actually pull these guys off and they just fall right off. There's actually a little notch here that indexes with those brass buttons. And then as well, take note, there is a ball bearing. So try and get that out and get these into a safe place because if those are gone, you again are not finding them ever, ever, ever again. Also take note, these brass things have to be lined up because they both have to pop off like that. And you'll see that another ball bearing fell out because I've been disassembling this a lot. So just, you know, make sure you know where this stuff is and don't lose it because it sucks. 
So now that you have um, those out of the way, um, to actually remove these pieces of the camera, you need to unscrew these and pop them off. So we're going to do that now with a flathead. Be careful you don't mar these up too much because, again, nobody makes this stuff anymore. So if you break it, um, that's the end of it. I, uh, yeah, I originally bought these cameras as is, you know, I just wanted to see what would happen if I disassembled them. So, once I got them disassembled and cleaned a little bit, they actually worked perfectly fine. So now that we have these out, we can actually just pull these guys out and they fall, well, they come out as a, uh, as a two-piece set. So this one's the bottom one, it controls the aperture, which actually goes down inside the shutter mechanism here and turns it to control the aperture. And then you have this guy, which has a notch right here, uh, right there. <laughs> and that actually indexes with this guy right here. There's a little lever, and that controls your your shutter speed. One of them. One of them controls one, and one of them controls, controls the other. So now you can see on the inside here, we've got the wiring um, to the flash that goes down into the camera. You have this entire thing, which is itself a the shutter mechanism. So I'm not going to go any deeper here because it means that when I pop this out, everything goes to crap, um, and you just have to you have to wing it. Like you have to take these wires out, you have to take all these springs and stuff, and you know it's it's much more likely that you'll damage the camera here than at any other point while you're disassembling it. But I will uh, take the back off just in case you may have issues there. Probably shouldn't, but. Um, the back is also quite easy to take off. It just comes off with three screws. Eventually, excuse the amount of screwing that has to be done. <laughs> and so this mechanism is also quite um, ingenious and simple. Once you get this guy off, this plate will lift off if you're careful. If you're careful, there. So the plate lifts off. You can see these notches are for this main uh, thingamahoozamawat there. And then you have um, the little plunger right here, which sits on this leaf spring right here. So when you depress this spring, it allows this to turn and cock the shutter and everything. And then if we pull this out, which I am able to do, see how it popped up? So then it actuated the shutter. I should be able to just, yeah, okay. So I need to pull it out of this hole. I have done this before, I swear. I swear, I have done this before. It's also difficult to get out because of this. Okay, sorry about that. So um, the camera actually died. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm not actually gonna take this off because it's not worth it. It's just, you won't be able to see anything uh, new and exciting. So anyways, when we look inside of here, um, You'll see these two things. These secure the uh, the stationary part uh, to the helicoid. So when you turn this, this goes in and out, and it can focus by moving the rear element and the the shutter assembly in and out. If you unscrew it all the way, you can sort of see the threads that are inside of there. You don't need to take it apart unless you're dicking with the uh, the shutter mechanism. Although I'll just I'll tell you right now, it is not a fun uh, it is not a fun experience to get inside of these shutter things just because there's so many little tiny things like there's like the, this which is the aperture uh, preview uh, lever which comes out here anyways it's just a gigantic pain in the butt um, and to reassemble it you just do it the exact same way that you disassembled it except opposite you can play this video in reverse if you want <laughs> But um, yeah, that's pretty much the inside of a Kawa 6 uh, lens. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I can attempt to help you. And that's pretty much all I can, all I can say. Um, when you're cleaning these, try and get uh, Ronsonol or some sort of uh, spirit. You don't want to get, sorry, not spirit, but a petroleum-based product. You don't want to get isopropyl. I clean these with isopropyl. The only issue with that is that it doesn't, it doesn't cut through the grease. It just spreads it around. It dissolves it and spreads it around. You really want like Ronsonol, which will dissolve the grease and get it cleaner than you would with uh, with isopropyl. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the disassembly of the uh, Kawa 6 lens. Reassembly takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to uh, do that off camera, as they say. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, um, you know, like, subscribe, give me a comment. You know, just let me know 
that this is something you're into and I'd be happy to uh, disassemble some more lenses, some more cameras, um, dick around with them and, uh, you know, maybe break them, maybe not. You, you, you know the drill. So yeah, uh, if you like this, give this a, you know, a like or a subscribe. But <laughs> I don't want to beg. But, you know, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll be back with some more videos as soon as I'm uh, done finals and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take it easy.